fair warning this is a livable house this is no shade to anyone else who has done a house tour out there in these YouTube streets sometimes when I see these house tours I think to myself do people live there is there you will see my purse you will see humans actually talking in the background <laughs> like honestly y'all not good example my house is not what you call quote unquote staged does that make sense so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna get started in the back area because it's quiet right now okay right now we are in my she room let me close these blinds see told you not staged not staged girl this is my woman k she room that i created this year actually a few weeks ago this is a queen size bed we've always had in here these pictures i got from michael's i have a separate video on this room and everything i did i refurbished this furniture and it matches perfectly my planning stuff is here now i have a gray rug that i added and now this is the real part this is where i store a lot of stuff at and my camera stuff is in the back all my supplies for supplies all my hair products Oh, over here on this fourth shelf um, bookcase that I purchased from the Goodwill. This bookcase right here, I got this from the Goodwill about four years ago. It was originally a wood oak, then I painted it brown, and then I wanted it to be this weathered gray to go with the desk and chair. So yeah, y'all, now this is JB's room. And, oh my goodness. JB wants to do his own tour of his room. So this is all you, baby. Go Okay, so you you got you got two minutes. Go ahead and show them your room. I see you've been jumping on your bed. So this is my room and this is my washing washing machine that I got when I was about um five. Or okay, four. so a word word. <laughs> yeah, because you were a washing machine for um, Halloween. Word of advice, baby. You're supposed to... Oh, my goodness. You're just supposed to tell them about your room, not the actual little bitty stuff, but like the decoration, the theme. So, so this is my Pac-Man theme. And we have this stuff that's sticked onto the wall. It has been coming off. Mm. <laughs> Thanks a lot, JB. And... I should have done it. He should have done the whole tour. And Come on here. Peppa and George. Peppa and George. Okay, sweetheart. Now, what we got over here? We have. Now, y'all, I painted this dresser. He's he going to show his toys. Games. I painted this dresser I got from the Goodwill to match and the room theme. It's, uh, it's really original, though. Yes. It's okay, really what do we loud. What do we have over here? We on this side. We have a, this whole thing. Oh. And um, I wish my dress was painted yellow, but... Oh, I think that would be a bit much, sweetheart. Yeah. And again, some more photos over here and a colorful bean bag that I purchased from Wayfair. I did oh, this for God, his birthday this, this year. This look, it's creepy. Okay, we're not sure. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all you want to tell us no, about your no, room? Nope. Well, I think that's... We that's... have this giant bean bag. Okay. And got my bed. Mm -hmm. It's black. This is the guest bathroom, also JB's bathroom. This is me. <laughs> um, very, very simple. Some of these pictures I got from the Goodwill just to match up. Decorations Goodwill. We had our cabinets, countertops, excuse me, redone. Gonna have the cabinets done here soon. Mm -hmm. This is the den. Very simple. If you can't tell by now, I like neutral colors. With a pop, pop of a color, you have that orange there. This here is about me. Here's the office slash workout room. This is where I get a lot of my work done, or at least try to. The plumbers over here got some homeschooling stuff for JB here in the corner. Here's the treadmill that we have. Yeah, just very simple. Here is our bedroom. I changed some things around. If you can't tell from the previous tour, um, I moved this right here, uh, the mirror and the plaques on this wall. I think it looks better. And the three paintings I'll show you in a minute are behind me. Um, yeah, very simple. We don't have a lot of furniture. We have two uh, side tables here and then a tall Chester dresser on this side. We have a huge closet, which I'll kind of show you here in a minute. I got this quilt from Wayfair a couple of months ago and it's quilted, these quilted pillowcases. I thought they go went really well with the um, bedding that I already have. And so, yeah. Just very very simple over here just have some pictures have my wedding bouquet <laughs> it's kind of funny because this is my wedding bouquet that i had 
made um, from someone on Pinterest because I wanted it very simple. My wedding theme was shabby chic. Isn't this beautiful? And then now those of you who've been following me for a while know that my best friend also had her white wedding, which if you, you don't know anything about white weddings and traditional weddings, she had her white wedding the same year as I got married. And this is the bouquet she made for me. Very pretty, so I just leave these here. And then we just have a little bench over here, a storage bench with, bench with extra decorative pillows and these three paintings that I got from mom. And now this takes us into the master bathroom. Now y'all, we had our bathroom redone earlier this year, y'all. Those of you who've been following me for a while, like I said, you know about Jerry Girl. So we literally started the bathroom project in February, didn't get finished for a good three months later. So I wanted to do redo everything. Um, we painted, of course, a couple of weeks ago, and I got new pictures here that I purchased from Wayfair and from Walmart. New rugs from Wayfair. Um, new accessories, bathroom accessories. Again, this is livable, so you go, yeah, you're gonna see mouthwash up there. This is the jacuzzi tub we had put in. And this is a shower. There, and that's my husband got my Aunt Jackie. <laughs> okay, with simple gray. This is the Jack and Joe closet that is not organized, so we're really not gonna go into here, but I love all the shelving. You can hear my child acting crazy, yeah. And I left this open because I have stuff here that I need to put here, this okay? This is our great living room. Look, I told you, it is not staged. I'm backing up here so you can see how big it is. It's extremely big, um, but I love it. I love it, I love it, y'all. I have to keep these floors done. I try to do my floors at least once a week. I vacuum almost every other day, I know, at least in here. So we have just pictures from Ross. And I have, and we have me. Mm. Yeah, we have JB. <laughs> Look, I told you y'all, it's not staged, it's livable. We have, you know, blankets everywhere. JB has his fort Can back here. Something? He has his etching. Okay, baby, you have your etch sketch. So JB keeps a little fort back here, which I, I, I'm I'm done, down, child. I don't know. Baby, get off of that, get off of that, okay? So this bench I purchased from Wayfair. I put this um, wall collage here. So we have vaulted ceilings, you guys. I don't know how high this is, but it gets really warm here in the summertime, which is again why my husband, why we had these windows tinted. So this is the front entrance way. I change things around all the time. Before JB was born, I had a lot of stuff that could be broken around the house. I had to get rid of all that stuff, child. So. Um, yeah, this is my favorite room of the house, the kitchen. <laughs> now, in my opinion, we definitely need to update the wood. So I will probably gel stain the wood cabinets in our bathroom or our kitchen so everything can be updated. Um, so yes, I love the countertops. One of the reasons why, let me come over this way. One of the reasons why I definitely wanted this house is this huge island here, which actually has additional storage. Look at all the storage I have, y'all storage for everything I have storage here up underneath the island and you know the cabinets and everything so yeah, yeah. so here's the dining area we I'm gonna be honest we rarely eat here um, it's sometimes cluttered with some a bunch of different stuff I clinked it off yesterday just to get ready for the school year got JB stuff back here yeah. boxes Sorry, y'all. Um, you can't tell. We have these huge wooden blinds, and they are a, they're beautiful, but they are a pain to clean. I like to dust them every two weeks or so, um, just so we don't get any buildup or anything like this that. Is what the dining room and kitchen look like from here and over here. Can y'all tell how nice it looks now that everything's been painted? This is Boo Boo over here. Um, this is again the den. Again, like I said, it's livable, so there's stuff everywhere. Um, I like this room. This is where JB comes and play the Wii. Yeah, we still have an old Wii. Have pictures up, just little bitty stuff. All right, so here is the backyard. Um, this is some patio furniture we have, a bunch of floaties because we're gonna get ready to get into the pool right now. If you live out here in the desert, you have to keep stuff covered. So we have a fairly sized, you know, good sized backyard. 
um, what I would hope to do my plan one day um, is to grow some at least some herbs but you see how hot and how sunny it is here I would definitely have to get um, I guess they have special coverings for anything you want to grow outside especially here in the Phoenix but if you you probably can't see but do you see the shadow towards the back here I can definitely grow tomatoes tomatoes or something on the back of the brick wall because at least if there's shadow there and over here too where this tree is at is our front um, area we have one tree that my husband made sure they knocked it all the way down um, we had these windows tenant because what? yeah but we had that outside of the house painted back um, I think it's been about about four years ago yeah so we try to keep stuff up y'all because the house is about 12 years old and I hope you enjoyed this video you want to tell them bye boo boo bye, bye you guys